Utopian future is always thought of as the destination. Once achieved, then there is nothing else. What if utopian future is not so much a destination, but a journey? And optimistic sci-fi has a crucial role to play in it. That's what we're going to be talking about today, so stay tuned. Dear friends, welcome to Space Framing Civilization, where fans and filmmakers of optimistic sci-fi come together and inspire a better future. Hi, I'm Masood, a champion of watching and creating optimistic sci-fi. We're going to get a little bit philosophical today and talk a little bit about working towards a practical utopian future and what critical role optimistic sci-fi plays in achieving that worthy goal. I can't possibly cover every scope of this topic in this short video. It requires several documentary series to cover this complex topic, but I will give you an overview and my thoughts about the subject. If you like this type of videos, please comment below in the comments and I will delve more deeply into this topic in future videos. A utopian future is often thought of as heaven or Eden, where we've achieved all of our potential, socially and technologically, and there's nothing more to achieve. This couldn't be further from the truth. What we thought of as a utopian society 100 years ago is totally different to what we think now. The idea of a utopian society is a dynamic one. It changes with time. Utopia is achieved gradually, one chunk at a time. As Elizabeth Locklear would say from Babylon 5, problems are solved in bits. The freedom we enjoy today largely is a utopian society compared to an oppressed society a thousand or even 500 years ago. The benefit we enjoy now is a result of ideas and progresses we've made in the past. And the benefits we will gain in the future will be a result of ideas and progresses we make today. It's often what's referred to as an ever advancing civilization. The more we know and experience, the more we can improve and change things. Progress and evolution always takes time. This we learn from nature. There are many aspects of our society that helps and benefits us, but there are also many aspects that don't. As a matter of fact, some aspects harm us. So a utopian future is one where we evolve to a point where we expand those good things or those beneficial aspects of our society, but also where we have eliminated or in the process of eliminating the bad things. But how do we know what's good and bad? One thing that might be good for one person is detrimental to many more and vice versa. This is a philosophical question that's been explored in many areas, including social, economical, political, arts, spirituality, amongst many more. Literature plays a very important part of exploring these aspects. It often reiterates what we commonly come to know as what's good and bad, but also starts the conversation in the gray areas. Optimistic sci-fi in its many forms has been very important in discovering universal truths in our human existence, such as unity, peace, and kindness. However, it shines in places where it explores issues of our time, inspiring us to take action that solve those issues by looking at them through the lenses of a more advanced society. At the very least, optimistic sci-fi makes us think and reevaluate preconceived assumptions. It was Gene Roddenberry's original Star Trek that for the first time on television shows in the US had a black woman as a character in a position equal to her other shipmates. And what is beautiful is that in that imaginary universe, people of different races and sexes working together was a normal thing. It wasn't unusual. This was critical as it was within that time where the civil rights movement was at its height in the US, which became a pivotal point for the rest of the world to turn the corner against racism. This is an example where we have achieved a level of social utopia where in many countries, racism is illegal. We all use social media for keeping in touch, communicating, sharing ideas, 
It's a wonderful tool. As a matter of fact, I'm sharing my thoughts with you on, on a YouTube video. With all the tools and innovations, there is a danger that it can be used to harm people intentionally or unintentionally. In one of the episodes of Seth MacFarlane's The Orville, the crew came across an alien society where they would judge people's actions and execute punishments using a popularity rating system on their version of a social media without due process. It was a warning by the show that the trap that we might fall into in social media, that it might turn into a breeding ground for misinformation, gossip, revenge, and apathy. What was missing from that society was empathy, understanding, and compassion. That's an example of what we need to think about and change our behavior online. It's like meeting people in real life. We need to treat each other with respect and compassion. A topic that's very close to my heart is unity of humankind, the universal truth that we are one human family. There are astronomical amount of positives in becoming one planet and one nation than there are negatives. In Michael J. Straczynski's Babylon 5, not only the nations of the earth are united, but also by the end of the series, there's an interstellar alliance, which is a utopian future to aspire to, where the galaxy has come together to solve our problems. And who knows, we might even have a universal alliance where all of universe has come together as one universal beings. We can already see a glimpse of that utopia with the International Space Station where human beings from different nations work together in space and on the ground to expand our knowledge and explore our universe together, benefiting all. Imagine what a united spacefaring civilization can achieve. Optimistic Sci-Fi will continually inspire us to work towards a utopian future. Click on this video for more discussions on how Optimistic Sci-Fi help us create a better future. Thank you for your time and join me again next time.